Hey guys, welcome to our baby wearing uh, <laughs> live event that we're doing here. I'm Michelle. And this is I'm Jana. Jana. This is Amelia. This is baby Charlie. Yes, they are our baby wearing models. Each of them is eight pounds and 21 inches. So they're about the size of a standard newborn and they will be very helpful as we demo all these fantastic carriers for you guys. Although I will say, I feel like this is a really large newborn. <laughs> well, I mean. Unless you're our babies. Average. <laughs> Unless you're like us and you just have giant babies. Yes. Okay, so just a reminder everybody, this is a Q&A live event, so if you have any questions, we do have Ryan and Kelsey behind the screens manning everything for us. This will also be up on YouTube on Monday, so if you have, if you want to review it later, it will be available to you. It will also be on our, on our Facebook page, so please share away with all of your friends who are wanting to do, to do baby wearing or might have questions about it, so we'd love to answer anything that they have. Um, so Jana here is our resident expert on baby wearing. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. <laughs> she owns all the things. So. I just, I, I mean, yeah, I've used a lot of different types of carriers, and I do have a couple kids, so I've used them with multiple children. Um, but yeah, I guess let's jump into talking about like the benefits of baby wearing and why you would want to do it in the first place. Um, a lot of awesome benefits for both mom and baby or dad if you're being the baby wearer which honestly I think all dads should baby wear it's a fantastic experience it's good for dad and the baby to like be able to bond yeah Sometimes totally dads struggle with that bonding factor yeah I hear you so. um yeah but first of all benefits for mom firstly you get to be hands-free which is an amazing thing um I feel like baby wearing helps you get back into things that you like to do and get back to your normal routine more quickly because you're able to take your baby with you, keep them soothed and happy while you're still going about your day and doing your normal um, everyday activities. And that coupled with the fact that you're bonding with your baby more while you're wearing them really helps um, lower the instance of like postpartum depression and anxiety, mm -hmm. which is a big deal. Um, and if you guys saw our PPD and PPA live event last week, if you saw or you heard or you've been paying attention to some of our posts recently baby wearing actually helps because with ppd and ppa because mm -hmm. you it you because you have your baby so close to you mm -hmm. and you can keep an eye on them all the time yeah. it helps comfort you and decrease your anxiety and it totally. also helps to like stimulate babies um like their own comfort levels and their own comfort responses yeah. so they actually cry less which can be less stressful for you um so it just has like there's literally no end to the benefits it's so true. um if you are struggling with ppd or ppa specifically baby wearing is a great option you should definitely do it um because just like jana was saying too getting back into a routine and like finding yourself again is a huge part of combating ppd and ppa so yeah definitely great options if you're struggling with that or if you just like you know want to eat food again that would be nice <laughs> yes <laughs> um, there and there are a lot of amazing benefits for baby as well um studies have shown that babies who are worn and carried more frequently actually grow up to be more independent um which seems kind of counterintuitive but because they feel more emotionally secure a lot of the time they won't have that um like attachment that can sometimes be a little bit annoying when you're trying to get them to do things on their own so that's a really great benefit as well um, oh, I was gonna say they also it also puts them into a state of quiet alertness. Yeah, so they actually are able to observe more So mm -hmm. when your baby it, whether they're facing out or facing in mostly facing in mm -hmm. towards you Because they can see you and they're in that comfort zone and they can feel that attachment Yeah, they feel better about like looking around and seeing all this new stimuli because mm -hmm. I do think that sometimes as parents we forget that Babies are brand new to this world. Yeah. Like green is a new color, <laughs> and totally. blue and like clouds are like blowing their minds. Mm -hmm. So we need like everything's new and it's a little scary for them. Like mm -hmm. when you try new things, it's scary. So yeah. we definitely want to be able to put our babies into a state of calm so that they can observe things safely and know that oh hey, yeah. it's okay to try new things. Which is also probably why they're more independent as they grow up. Totally, they know it's okay to try new things and see new things and it's not as scary. Yeah, they're able to explore in a way that makes them still feel safe. Um, another thing is because they're up at the height that you are observing the world at rather than like constantly laying on their back, they see more of what's going on yep. at an earlier age, um, which is awesome. Do you have a question? Yes. So someone wants to know what these, those things that are. Made okay. Are. So these are ring slings. These are made by Sakura Bloom. There are a couple of other brands out there as well, um, but these are our favorite. Um, and we will get into talking a little bit more about like the pros and cons of each 
of the different types of carriers. Um, but yes, these are definite, they're a favorite of mine. I love ringslings. <laughs> um, Should yeah. we just go right into that? Yeah, I mean, we might Kay. as well. Um, we can just get right into the ringslings first. Yeah. I'm going to be the model because as you guys can see, Jana I'm is not a the right shape for doing busy this. Busy right now. No, that's going <laughs> to that's a, let's do this one. I love this color and this it will look perfect. super pretty oh. with your gray Thanks. that you've got going on here. Love it. Okay. So, ring slings, I feel definitely have the smallest learning curve. I can't even talk, you guys. Smallest <laughs> learning curve. They are the easiest to pick up um, and learn to use quickly. Um, they're also really convenient because they are small enough to just toss in your diaper bag. And because you don't have to do any sort of, like, wrapping on your body, they're nice for on the go. Because sometimes when you use, like, a wrap-style carrier, you're wrapping away from your house. And you've got, like, tails dragging on the ground. And I personally... Hate Especially that. for Utah during the wet winter. Oh, yeah. I, so my first was Gross. in the middle of winter. She was born three days after Christmas. Yeah. And to, like, be wrapping on the wet ground was so awful. So icky. <laughs> yeah. Because so. you have to, like, try and, like, keep it up. It's awful. Yeah. So I love ring slings for out and about. Um, so the way... Oh, let me tell you Michelle how to will do tell it. You how to do it. <laughs> well, I just do it over here. <laughs> so with ring slings, you have a top rail and a bottom rail. Um... This one up here is your top, and it's basically tightening this top part. Mm -hmm. And then this one is your bottom rail down here, and it's tightening the bottom. So you're going to go ahead and put it, put the ring on your dominant hand side. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put it over here, because that's the side of my body that's going to yep. be more free. Arms free. So I'm going to want to be able to use it. So go ahead and tighten this up so it's nice and taut on your body. That way... Um, your baby's not going to fall out yeah, when you you're first put them in. Yeah, you're basically tightening the bottom so you have a little pouch for them yeah. to sit into when you slide them in the carrier. So if you guys can see, it's pretty taut. Like, I can't, like, pull it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now I'm going to make a little pouch in here. So there's a little, it's a good amount of fabric. So I'm going to make a little pouch. I'm going to take Charlie. Mm -hmm. And since he's a newborn, I'm going to put him in a frog legged position, which you take their feet, you put them together, and then you put them up like this so that they're kind of, if you notice like when babies are first born in their car seat, they'll often sit with their legs like this, yeah. right, splayed apart. So that's the position yeah. we're putting them into. It's a very, very natural position for them to be in. And doing that ensures that as they sit down into the carrier, their knees are going to be up above their bum, which is how we want them positioned so that their hips are properly supported. Mm -hmm. The thing you want to worry about if your baby wearing a lot is hip dysplasia. And I believe... Correct me if I'm wrong, Jenna. Mm -hmm. But hip dysplasia is when, like, the socket of their uh, femur mm -hmm. doesn't connect into their hip yeah. socket. And so they, there is surgery to correct it, but it's pretty intensive surgery. Yep. You don't want to do that. So if you're baby wearing a lot, or even just minimally, if yeah. you're just baby wearing every day, you need to, like be aware that that's a risk and to make sure that your baby's in the proper position yeah. every time. Um, and, and keep in mind, if your baby wearing properly like safe baby wearing is not going to cause hip dysplasia yeah. you just need to be aware that you're doing it correctly and supporting their hips in a way that will keep them from having that issue yeah exactly um, anyway so once baby's in we're gonna go ahead and tighten the top rail and this is just to make sure that they're not loose we'll go over um the safety what's it called <laughs> Safe baby wearing practices. Yeah. There's an acronym that helps the you. The acronym. That'll <laughs> help you for. Um, check every time you baby wear to make sure that they're in properly and safely. Yes. How would you have a two-month-old sit? I've been thinking of getting a ring sling. Also, what is your favorite brand of ring sling? Um, that is a great question. Personally, I typically keep my babies in the newborn position with their feet together until they're about three to four months of age. Um, but I would check with your pediatrician. My daughter, um, I transitioned her to the the feet out position um, in a carrier when she was like three months old because I did that with my son and that's what most people or most brands um, that make baby carriers recommend. But my pediatrician actually told me, she's like, you know, your baby has loose hip sockets um, so you should probably keep her in the tucked in position a little bit longer. So just yeah. check with your pediatrician. You know, every appointment that you take your baby to for the first year, they always check their hip socket. So ask your doctor. Your doctor will know what's best for your baby specifically. Yeah. And if you don't, if you're like worried, like you're not maybe, you don't have health insurance or something, so you're not able to go to the doctor a lot. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I just watch until they stop sitting in that mm -hmm. position all the time. Yeah. Because there will come a point when they like, they sit straighter with their legs. 
Yeah. Um, so I just wait until I till they're not sitting like that anymore, and that's when that's I transition. That's a good point. A really good way, a good rule of thumb to tell when they're ready to put their legs out is if they're starting to like push against the bottom of yeah. your carrier. That's a good sign that they're ready to transition to having their legs out. Hopefully that made sense. Um, Basically when they're starting that like walking reflex, like that jumping reflex. Yeah. So. Um, as far as favorite brands of ring slings, there's a lot out there, but we really do love the Sakura Bloom. The fabric quality is fantastic, and they are also um, the double, the double um, layered ring slings, um, which just supports the weight of older babies better than a single layer ring sling. Um, because they are the double layer, they're a little bit more expensive, but I feel like the investment's worth it because it does keep you as the wearer comfortable longer. Yeah. Um, I would keep in mind too, lots of people look at, at carriers and say like, oh, I can just make that. Um, the don't. thing is you <laughs> cannot. <laughs> there is these this fabric, even though it's a linen, it's specially woven for baby wearing. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing with like all of these fabrics. They've all been yeah. specially woven for baby wearing because all fabric sags eventually and yes. it gets older. So, but this is woven specifically, so it won't sag and it won't stretch out. Um, so that's the same thing with like these stretchy carriers that you have, like the stretchy wraps. Um, you can't, that's why you can't use them for very long because eventually they're gonna sag. Yeah. So please do not make your own wraps. The other thing is all of these- <laughs> Unless you get specifically woven fabric. Like all of these carriers and wraps and stuff have gone through rigorous safety testing and they have to meet all like US and international safety standards depending on where they're sold in order to come to market. Um, anything that you make yourself, obviously you haven't like sent it away to be safety tested so you don't actually know the implications of what using it with your baby could be. And you know, our children are precious to us so we always want to keep them safe and not take unnecessary risks. Yeah, exactly. Um, so okay. back to this thing. So this is, so I've tightened everything up. He's nice and tight. Um, I personally have like a bad upper back and lower back because mm -hmm. I have C-sections and it's great. Mm -hmm. um, so what you can do is if you get like neck pain or anything, you can take this side and just kind of put it over your shoulder. That'll give you a little bit of extra like support mm -hmm. that won't be so on your neck and on your back. Yeah. So I personally like to do that. Yeah. And Michelle brings up a good point. Um, because with a ring sling, we are concentrating all of the weight on one shoulder. If you have a bad back, a ring sling might not be the best option yeah. for you. It would probably be better for you to use a wrap or a structured carrier that's going to put the weight on both shoulders or with a structured carrier, it also puts weight on your hips rather than focusing all the weight on your shoulders and back. So that's probably a better option for you if you have back issues. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I prefer mm -hmm. personally, but I think a sling is great for like, if you're only going to be wearing baby wearing for a short time. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to like church for a couple hours or something like that, um, I, they're also a little bit more stylish. Let's be honest. They, are. <laughs> they look a little prettier. Pretty. So it's nice to wear. Um, so if you guys saw what I did too with this extra fabric, you can either leave it hanging if you want. Or I personally, like sometimes your babies will like lean back their heads like this. They're, they're floppy sleeping. when they're first born. <laughs> so what you can do is twist it up like this and then you're just gonna wrap it around and then take this extra fabric up here and you're just gonna like roll it over it. And then it creates kind of a nice little headrest for Hashtag them. Hashtag mom hat. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it creates a nice little headrest for them so they're not gonna be like this. Their head isn't, there's, it like hurts my heart when I see baby's heads like flopping around mm -hmm. when their moms are right. I'm like, please don't. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's um, a great option for you too. Yeah. Another thing that I really love about ring slings is they are super easy to breastfeed in and um, provided you dress yourself appropriately. If you're planning to breastfeed in your sling while you're out and about, make sure that you're wearing something that has like button ups or there's really cool, like really mom dresses now that have like the side zip. Just make sure you're wearing something that's Those really breastfeeding best. friendly. Um, but it's super easy because you can just drop your baby down to breast level. And you're, so you're just going to loosen the bottom you. rail, right? The bottom one? Um, yeah, just ever so slightly. And I haven't actually breastfed We don't want to loosen it to the point where like the pouch comes undone, but loosen it just enough so that they're dropping down to breast level. Um, and and then, I think it's important to note that you need to have their kind of the right breast shape sometimes too. Yeah. Like, I personally would not be able to carry to breastfeed mm -hmm. in a carrier just because really anyway <laughs> yeah it's, it's true it's honestly not everybody can nurse and carrier but it's worth giving it a shot um but this one is one of the easier styles of carrier to nurse in if that's something that you choose to try to do so that's um, what, yeah so you'll drop baby down to breast level um 
and you want to make sure that you keep them up and down. Um, we don't want to lay them horizontally. And that's not something we want to do while baby wearing. It's not the safest practice. And that's a good rule of thumb. Like no matter what you're doing, baby should never be worn horizontally. <laughs> up and down. Um, the other cool thing I like about nursing in a wrap or a sling is you have this convenient little cover if you like to keep yourself a little bit more covered. Um, and nobody would even know you're nursing. They'll probably mm -hmm. just think your baby's sleeping. So, and if you guys, sneaky, sneaky. Yep. And if you guys can still see, he's still in a pouch. Mm -hmm. He still has that curved back. And he still has he's his still knees in above his frog his leg. Mm -hmm. So he's still in a perfect position. He's yeah. just a little lower, yeah. which is perfect. Um, breastfeeding in a sling brings up another another good thing. Um, another pro of baby wearing is if you have a child that has reflex, baby wearing can be really great for you because after you feed them, doctors will recommend that you keep them um, upright. Mm -hmm for as long as possible. So it's really nice to be able to nurse in a carrier and then just tighten them back up and keep them in that carrier so that they stay um, vertical so that they're not gonna have like that acid reflux reaction as readily. If you guys thought it was super easy, I just put my hand up under him, tighten my bottom rail, up. good He's to fine. go. And this top rail probably needs to be tightened a little yeah. bit. But. So that's, all good to go. That's kind of the general overview of ring slings. Um, we love them. Honestly, I feel like there is a place for every style of carrier in your baby wearing arsenal if that's something that you choose to do frequently. I have one of almost all the types of carriers that there are um, and I just use them for different different scenarios because I'm a bit of a baby wearing enthusiast. Another nice thing about Sakura Bloom and ring slings in general, sometimes you'll see that like I personally get really really hot like after I first have my babies I get a lot of hot flashes yes. <laughs> so wraps for me are not a good option because they cover a lot of your body to mm -hmm. get the right support yeah so I get super hot in them but that's why I like ring slings because the linen is really light mm -hmm. and it only covers like this part of my back yeah um, so I am still getting a lot of airflow mm -hmm. and then as well like if you want something that's more soft for your babies they do come in a bamboo one yeah. which is still really light and really breathable but it's still really soft so yes. if you get really hot also a good option or if you live in a hot climate yes so totally agree with you there great ones and um, um, should we do wraps let's do the wraps yeah okay um I really love wraps for when babies are brand new I feel like it just holds them so nice and snug um and I love that because of the way that you wrap it does um, spread the force of your baby's weight across both shoulders. Yeah. Um, oh, and if you guys did see, it's super small. It's like yes. this big. It'll fit in any purse. Yeah, ever. super <laughs> easy to toss in your diaper bag. But like we mentioned, keep in mind that if you're gonna be wrapping while you're out and about, you may have, see, this, it's long. It's basically it's just this long. long piece of fabric. So you will have tails dragging. Um, one way to circumvent that problem is if you're gonna be out and about, you can just wrap at your house and then like hop in the car and go wherever you're going. Yeah. I never, per okay, this is super lame, but I never personally liked doing that because it looked I funny doing to have, that. <laughs> it looked funny to have my wrap on. Um, and my first wrap was like this greenish brown color. And so when I would wrap <laughs> it, I felt like I looked like a Jedi. It was super weird. And so I never liked doing that. I bet your little boy loved it. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, it's not stupid because that's exactly how I I hated pre wrapping. I'm a little, little bit. bit. I'm, I'm kind of. Well, and it was just uncomfortable to like wear a wrap in the. Anyway. Without a baby in it. So, anyway. this is how you're going to wrap it. If you guys, and by the way, on our YouTube channel, we have reviews about all of these as well as how to's for like this mm -hmm. wrap and stuff. Yeah. So, if you don't feel super pressured, but if you need to check them out later or you want to like slow it down and pause it, yes, we do have stuff on there too. Anyway, so you're going to find the tag. Every. I have yet to come across a wrap that does not have a tag. Seriously. The tag denotes the middle of the wrap. Mm -hmm. So you're going to place that right over your belly, kind of right, right at your natural waist. Yep. And then we're going to take it around and we're going to cross it in the back. Yep. And you're going to keep it nice and wide so that it actually like gives yeah. you the right support out. And make sure that like you don't have any twists in the fabric or anything because that's just going to keep it more comfortable for you and make sure that you have that weight distributed evenly across your body. Yep. Then you're just going to kind of tug it a little bit, keep it a little tight, yep. and then you're going to bunch them up. Yep. I like, I like to wrap the wrap pretty tight when I'm doing it um, because as you put your baby in, because the fabric is stretchy, it's naturally going to loosen up and sag a little bit. So I always wrap a little bit tighter than I think I need to because it's easier to loosen once your baby's in than it is to tighten. Yep, I 100% agree with that. Um, especially because, like, if you're a little bit more overweight like I am, if you have a little bit more love to give, um, it's 
you'll find, I find that mine gets a lot looser mm -hmm. because I have a lot more curves that it has to go around. Yeah. So I wrap mine especially tight and then loosen it up once I get yeah. baby in it. So, um, anyway, so you're going to tighten it nice and tight, cross it again in your back. You can either tie it back here or if you want a little bit extra support like me, cause you have back problems, you can go ahead and leave it wide again and then you can tie it up at the front. Yeah. Really depends on what is most comfortable for you. I, I also feel like if you can bring the fabric around to the front, it's just easier to tie something in front of you than behind yeah. you. So, And you want to do a double knot so mm -hmm. that it doesn't uh, fall out or yeah. anything. And then you're going to take your baby. Again, we'll do the frog legs. Um, should I show frog legs or should I show regular on this one? Let's do regular on this one. Okay. We'll pretend. He, he's going to look a little funky because he's not big enough. But just be aware. This is how you do it. So... Frog legs, you'll just keep them in the pocket, but with regular legs, you'll take this leg, you're going to take the one that's closest to your body, mm -hmm. you're going to open it up, you're going to put their leg in it, and then you're going to spread it from their knee to knee and shoulder to shoulder. Yep. So, Making sure that their back is supported all the way across. And it's good to do this in a mirror the first couple times you do it, that totally. way you can watch like what you're doing and kind of feel yes. around. I can like feel his knee, so I know I'm getting mm -hmm. to his knee and then I'm spreading it to his other knee. Basically what we're doing, we're making a sling chair. Mm -hmm. So we're making a chair that's gonna support their entire thigh mm -hmm. and put it up a little bit so it's above their hip. Exactly. And then we're gonna take this other one and again, spread it knee to knee, shoulder to shoulder. Now, as you can see, he's really tight, so I'll loosen it up in a minute. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take that pocket that was at the very front. Mm -hmm. I like to call it the seat belt. The seat belt, that's a good <laughs> way. And you're just going to spread it up above and kind of tuck it underneath their bottom and yep. get it up underneath their bum. Yep. And then once again, we're checking to make sure that knees are above bum and that everything is nice and supported. Um, and let's just take a second. Let's go over that safe baby wearing acronym while we have Charlie in the carrier and we'll check for a couple of things. Um, so the acronym is TICKS, T-I-C-K-S. Um, and like any baby wearing um, carrier that you buy, the brand should have this acronym on like their FAQ page or somewhere. So don't feel like you have to remember it. Just go to the brand yeah. of your carrier and look up. But this is something that you need to eventually memorize because you need to check every time to make sure that your baby wearing safely. It's so, like the international baby wearing safety check. <laughs> exactly. So after you get baby wrapped, we're going to go through this acronym. T is for tight. If you bend She's over, very tight right now. <laughs> if you bend over, your baby should not pull away from your body. Um, so if you guys can see, he's, he's not pulling, not he's pulling away a little bit, but head, a normal you know. amount. Yeah. So we want to make sure that he's tight. I is for insight. If you look down, you should be able to see the top of your baby's head. And that's a good gauge for, um, they shouldn't be up too high that you can't see the top of their head. They also should not be down like low and like inside the fabric. You yeah. need to see. And I have him too high right now, to be honest. I need to loosen up a yeah. little bit. Um, but so I'll do that. And after. that's why we're, that's why we're checking. <laughs> um, C is for close enough to kiss. Your baby should be high <laughs> enough and close enough to your body that you can just kiss the top of their head. Um, K is for keep chin off chest. You know, as your baby's guardian, it is your job to make sure that their airways are always clear. So their chin should not be like this because that's not an open airway. Um, so just make sure that they have clear airways. And I like to tell people, like, take a second and go like this. Put your chin all the way to your chest and try to breathe for like it's 10 hard. or 15 seconds. <laughs> it gets hard and you are a full grown adult mm -hmm. with a fully developed airway. Exactly. <laughs> like. Think of a baby trying to do that. Yeah. That's really hard. And most babies will settle. Um, they'll like turn their heads to the side and like lay against mm -hmm. you. So a lot of the time um, that issue is kind of negated. But, you know, every once in a while while you're baby wearing, just take just a peek them. at your baby. And you'll do it naturally because, heck, your baby is adorable and they're so snuggly <laughs> right there by you. You got to look at them all just the time. Just keep those airways clear, guys. You want <laughs> The good check, too, is to take two fingers and just make sure there's two fingers worth between mm -hmm. their chin and their chest. Exactly. Um, and then last one, S is for spine. We want to make sure that their spine is supported, that they're not like overly curved or hunched down or anything, and that they've got a nice vertical spine with just a slight C curve. Um, yeah. So that's ticks. Yes, you got a question. What carrier is this? This is the happy baby yeah. wrap. This is the happy baby wrap. So um, it's a B, it's just a regular stretchy wrap. 
Um, yep. Other brands are like Solly, Moby. Um, I prefer this one or the Solly to like the Moby wrap because it's just one layer of fabric. The Moby wrap is two, unless they changed their design recently. Um, so the Moby tends to be like a hotter carrier, whereas this one's just the one layer. Um, it's also going to roll up a lot smaller. Um, one question we get a lot is like, what's the difference between Solly Baby and Happy Baby? Um, because Solly is kind of like the name brand that everyone knows. Um, Happy Baby Wrap is actually made of organic bamboo versus cotton, which Solly is made of. It's also a little bit cheaper, and nobody's mad about that. <laughs> and it comes in really similar, really similar colors. Batteries. Yeah, for sure. Can't tell if this stayed when I like loosened it. <laughs> this is why you need a mirror, guys. <laughs> That's true. Um, I'm just gonna take them out. Yeah, we're gonna take them out. We're done with this one. Okay. Um, with stretchy wraps, it is important to note some wraps that are like a firm linen fabric. You can do like side carries and back carries mm -hmm. with. You cannot do that with a stretchy wrap. Right. Um, they're too stretchy. I've seen like videos on YouTube where like people who like baby wear a lot are showing why you can't. Yeah. Basically, if you tie them on your back in a stretchy wrap, and if you like. I've seen them like lean over like this and their baby just falls out. Yeah. Because there's nothing to like support. Support and hold them in. Yeah. So do not side carry and do not back carry with a stretchy stretch wrap. It is front carry facing inward only. Yeah. Um, Ryan. Yes. What carrier do you recommend for hip carrying? Hmm. Um, ring slings, ring slings, ring slings, slings are really easy for hip carrying. You also can do a hip carry in like a structured carrier, like an Ergo Baby. Um, just bear in mind, and we can even show you a hip carry in the Ergo right now. Um, you do have to change how the, what are these called? Pregnancy brain. <laughs> the shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's a real thing. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm ready to have my brain back. <laughs> Not that it gets any better, because then it just turns into mom brain, let's be honest. This one, I haven't done the hip carry in a long time. Okay, you just do it like this, right? Yeah, so we're going to, wait. Hold on. Put the, put the belt on your... That's right. It's weird to do it put on somebody else. On I've done this. it on myself. So the thing with the hip carry with the ergo, you need to make sure that the one shoulder strap is going to go around your body now to kind yes. of just be out of the way. And then the older other shoulder strap will be holding on to you. So... Nice thing with Ergo, they always have these safety elastics right mm -hmm. here. Basically what it meet what happens, you put your clip through, you're going to take your tether and put it through as well. That way if, I always say like young teenagers because teenagers are stupid, but if they came in like unclipped it, it's not going to like fall off yeah. your body. Or if, you know, it fails for any reason other yeah. than a teenager being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So again, my right arm I, wanna, I want free because I'm right handed. Okay, this one's going to go across her body this way. See, it goes across the back. Um, and then this one we'll is going to go around my body. Around. Yep. Here, pass me that and I'll just get y'all buckled, <laughs> get me all buckled in. <laughs> and then you're going to take this, take this off. Yep. And we just have our little pocket right here. Yeah. And you can't do this carry on ergos until they're out of the infant insert. Right. So, um, and mostly you want to wait until they have, I think, I think the recommendation from Ergo specifically is that you wait until your baby can sit unassisted before yeah. you do the hip carry. I believe that's the same recommendation for like a ring sling as well. Wait until they can sit unassisted because then they have the head and neck support, um, to be able to sit in like a more seated position like yeah. that. So again, he's going to look odd because he's too small. So, yes. but usually the leg would be well supported right here. The knee would bend where mm -hmm. this fabric is at. So just be aware. We're not incorrectly baby wearing. He's just a small model. He's just, you know, <laughs> we don't have a regular child size model. And then you're going to put this over you. Make sure everything's tight. Yeah. And you can tighten this up if you need it to be yeah. tighter. So like we said, you can do a hip carry in a structured carrier, but some people find this to be uncomfortable. It's a little like, bit of a nuisance to it's have. On <laughs> it's on your neck. Um, one way, so my, my son um, actually really loved the hip carry, so I did it with him often in the Ergo. Um, and what I did, because this fabric can be a little bit scratchy on your neck, is I took the teething pad accessory that you can purchase with your Ergo, um, and I would wrap it around that section so that I had the softer fabric right against my neck rather than like the more um, scratchy canvas. Just bear in mind that even though you can face your baby out in a four position structured carrier, they still recommend not 
wearing your baby facing out for very long, even though um, the carrier manufacturers have taken measures to keep the hips supported properly facing out, it's still not as supported as facing in. Um, so they, I think they only recommend doing it for like an hour or yeah. two tops. Well, plus the stimulation, your baby's getting way more stimulated when yes. they're looking out, but they can't see you, so it kind of negates that mm -hmm. quiet alertness that we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. Ergo Baby actually had a really hard time making that design yeah, because they know that that's like a part of safe baby wearing and like mm -hmm. the benefits of baby wearing, so they didn't want to make it, but um, people kept asking for yeah. it, so that's why they did. There's such a demand. So just be aware that those are things you just want to watch out for. Make sure you're monitoring your baby for like too much stimulation and mm -hmm. turn them around if they're getting too stimulated. Yep, because an overstimulated <clears throat> baby is not a fun baby. <laughs> yes. So I love soft structured carriers though because going back to like me having a bad back, these are created like hiking backpacks. So mm -hmm. they put all of the weight on your hips and your legs, which is fantastic. Your top hat, like all the backpack straps and stuff are basically just to make sure your baby doesn't fall out, which yep. is great. Um, and then <clears throat> they are so comfortable. Like I can literally wear this for hours and yeah. I'm super comfortable with yeah and husbands are more likely to wear these too. totally <laughs> with the ergo baby I actually hiked my how old was he then he was two and a half at the time I hiked him down to Hanama Bay um, in Hawaii and all the way back up the mountain when I was 17 weeks pregnant with my daughter wearing an ergo baby carrier yep. and was still completely comfortable so these carriers are really awesome if you're active or, or if you're going to be wearing them for a long period of time yeah. like Michelle said personally like Jana said there's really a place for every type of carrier in your baby wearing arsenal mm -hmm. but if you're can only purchase one carrier I would honestly purchase a soft structure carrier with an infant insert if you need one yep. because it's gonna have the most carry positions and it's going to be the most comfortable for you in the long term whereas like with stretchy wraps you can only use them for like what the first five maybe six months yeah. depending on the size of your baby yep. ring slings are comfortable but even once they start getting heavier those still aren't comfortable yeah so these are definitely like the best option for yeah. getting the most bang for your buck. Highest weight capacity, because with a, a ring sling and like a structure, or a hat, bleh, you guys, <laughs> a wrapper, a ring sling is only going to have a weight capacity of like 35 pounds. Um, and once you start approaching 35 pounds, like you probably don't want to wear them in a ring sling or a wrap style carrier just because you're going to get uncomfortable. But these yeah. have a weight capacity of like 45 pounds. Um, when we hike, we sometimes will still carry my five-year-old yeah the ergo baby because we can and he loves it and they do have mesh ones too that are perfect for hiking so you don't get super hot yeah. so uh you do need help sometimes usually i'm Unless not you're good enough super practiced at it. <laughs> it, even when i this. put my um my older child in the carrier in the back carry i do it standing over the bed so yeah. if i screw up he'll just fall on the bed he's yeah fine. like he once your hilarious. baby's old enough you can like put them somewhere where you kind of line up with them and you can like lift it all up yeah. so you would just lay this on the bed yep put them on it and then once Again, everything. Charlie is not big enough for this carry, but we're showing you just so you know that this is an option. Um, so you put it on just like a backpack. Has a little chest clip. And you can adjust this chest clip to be up more. Mm -hmm. Just hit myself in the face. <laughs> um, so you can adjust that, and you're going to adjust these first. These are what tighten the carrier. So you're going to make sure that's nice and tight. Yep, once again, they should not pull away from your body if you're leaning, like, backwards. I'm going to loosen that a little bit. Okay. Um, again, this just feels like I'm wearing a hiking backpack. It's amazing. And it doesn't necessarily need to go, like, right on your hips. It goes, like, more at your natural waist. Yeah. Honestly, so. as I'm baby wearing, I kind of adjust it up and down depending on, like, if I... I, you know, sometimes if you have something in the same position for a long time, you start to feel uncomfortable. But if yeah. you move it up or down, you'll feel comfortable again for a little while. Do we have another question? Yes. Yes. Um, do the wraps last through multiple babies or do they stretch out permanently and need to be replaced for second or third kid? That's a really good They question. do last. So I've used, my wrap that I have, I have used for two kids and we're going on a third. Um, because every time you wash it, your f uh, fabric will shrink back to its original elasticity. Um, the point at which you need to replace it is if you start seeing like tears um, or like excessively stretched out fabric that doesn't shrink back. So like um, if it's opaque and you can see through yeah, it. Yeah, so just watch for that. Um, but yeah, in my experience, even with about daily use for the first six months, it's lasted me through multiple children. Yeah. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, okay. okay. So this is great for like long day trips or anything, like, I don't know, Disneyland. 
else that I could think of. Yeah. <laughs> um, or hiking or any of those things. Or, any, or like going to festivals or like anything where you're going to be outdoors and yeah. holding your baby for a long time. Usually they have to be, you want to take him. <laughs> yeah. Usually with this carry though, you have to be, uh, they need to be tall enough that they can see over mm-hmm. the back of the carrier. So even sometimes like when you're done using this, the infant insert. So this is what you use with newborns with their, with some of the ergo babies if you don't have the adapt has this little pillow in it and it puts them up a little bit higher mm-hmm. and then this helps support their head if when they're a new newborn you use the whole thing and then when they can support their head you just use the pillow mm-hmm. just so their legs are in the correct position yep um so anyway you can't do the hip carry or the back carry if they still need this pillow to have their head above the line of the yeah. carrier and so. i i say like the back carry is the last carry you can do because i wouldn't even back carry until they can do the hip carry and have done that for a reasonable amount of time yeah and you know you just need to you know your baby's development better than anybody um and I I think that I haven't ever started to use the back carry until my kids are at least a year old and could like hang on to me in just like a regular piggyback position yeah that's a usually pretty good indicator that they're ready to to do a back carry something I really like about ergo baby too read your manual because ergo baby has like they are super crazy about making sure that people wear their babies safely and correctly. Mm-hmm. So they have very, very, very detailed yes. like manuals telling you exactly when you can start each carry, mm-hmm. what you should be looking for. They have crazy, um, crazy amount of YouTube videos on their uh, YouTube channel. So they are, if you even just want to learn about baby wearing in general, Ergo Baby is a great resource. Yes, they are. So we're working on ours, so you can also check out our YouTube video, our yeah. YouTube page. Um, but if you're wanting more like, just general basic safety wearing, they are a great resource for that. Yeah. So another awesome resource while we're talking about it, um, Baby Wearing International um, is a group that, you know, people are very active in the baby wearing community and they learn a lot about like all the different types of carriers. So they'll, they'll have a little bit more knowledge about like specific carriers that we don't have in our store. So if you're interested in like a woven wrap rather than a stretchy wrap, like Baby Wearing International, We'll have a lot of information about that. So, you know, get get active in your community. Look online. There are a lot of really fantastic resources out there for baby wearing. Yeah. Um, Just a little bit more on Ergo Baby 2. They have a variety of ones. So, like like Jana was saying, these one like, this is their 360. You can, this you can do the back carry, the hip carry, the front inward facing, and then also a front forward facing one. Yeah. So, on theirs, they have um, some buttons that help you to adjust. Um, right here button so you can adjust so it sits further out for the inward facing carry or you adjust it in if your baby's going to be facing outward um, and that will just keep their hips in proper alignment yep um, this one you do need an infant insert if you're going to be wearing with a baby I think I think 12 pounds is the max amount of usage for the infant I, insert. I think that's for this part, for but then you part. need to use the pillow right. longer. Once again, read your manual. <laughs> it's there for a reason. Um, I just use her girl baby, so that's all that's why I know. Yeah. Um, um and then this is their brand new one, the Adapt. This one you actually don't need an infant insert to use for. Um, it has Velcro on the back of it where you can adjust how wide it is. Mm-hmm. So it will adjust for how large your baby is yeah. or how small they Height-wise. are. And it has a yeah. little little guide right there to tell you like the height of your baby and the corresponding position to put the um, hip support in. Yep. Um, so this one you don't need, like she said, you don't need the infant positioner because all the different um, Velcro positions adjust that for you. Um, Ergo Baby also has their new Omni Carrier, which is kind of like the original and the three, no, the, the Adapt, Adapt and the 360 had a baby because you don't need... Um, to use the infant positioner pillow with it mm-hmm. um, and you also can do the outward facing carry so it's kind of the <laughs> I think we sold all of them oh they're, did we they're really popular right now and um, because like we said you can do all of the carry positions um, and not have to need the infant insert so it's a really it's great, a great option. like we said if you can only get one carrier that's a really good one yeah Okay, the last one we have is the Happy Baby Soft Carrier. This is the same company as the Wrap, but this is their soft structured carrier. 
Um, some benefits to this one over Ergo Baby, it rolls up way smaller. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's actually a full linen, so it's super soft. It's actually one of those linens that as you wash it, it gets softer. Yeah, so, breathable fabric too. Mm -hmm. So if you live in a hot climate or you just are really sweaty postpartum mama, like a lot of us tend to be. It's fine. Me too, it's not just you. <laughs> New mom sweats are the worst, you guys. <laughs> guys, you'll know. It's a thing. <laughs> okay. So when you first start with this one, this one's a little bit different than Ergo Baby. You're going to actually start with it up like inside out. Yeah. So you're gonna have this tag facing out right here. You're still going to connect it into that little rubber band thing that's that safety. So let's see if I can get it in. Let's use Amelia this time. She's feeling left out. Okay, that's we a good it. idea. We, we have only had her for a short period of time, so Charlie has been our, our standby baby wearing model, but make it nice and tight <laughs> on you. Okay, and then, so this is the same for the Ergo Baby too. So how I always like to put them in, we'll do the newborn position in this one. So you're gonna take their feet, put them back into that frog leg position. Um, and I always like to hold them right up against my body, hold their bum, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna take this and hold it dead in the center and pull them up, pull it up, and then you're gonna take your hand and re oh, I'll turn this way. <laughs> really like tuck their bum down into that pocket because mm -hmm. that's where they're gonna get the most support. Yep. So I'm gonna take it and tuck them in and then I'm gonna put on the straps. Mm -hmm. And these straps are way too small for me. <laughs> we did them for our perfectly spelt little mannequin over here, which is, you know, nobody's really thought size. Okay, that's why we like these live videos. Now you guys can see it on like real life people. Yeah. Another thing that I really like about this carrier is the adjustment up and down for this um, this clip back here is really smooth. It just slides along this little track right here. Like, and this is oddly satisfying, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> if you're bored, who needs a fidget spinner? Just pull the thing on your carrier. And then you should always adjust this clip to be right in the center of your shoulder blades. That's where you're gonna get the most support. Just again, like a hiking backpack. Just right there. there. <laughs> so just again, that's where you're gonna get the most support. So you're not like gonna be in pain or anything like you were carrying a hiking backpack. Mm -hmm. And they're just here and it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing I love about this carrier is you don't need an infant insert with it. You can use this one from birth. Yeah. Caveat, it's the starting weight is like seven pounds. So most people can use it from birth. If you have a preemie, you do need to wait a little bit. Yeah. Uh, until they can use it. Um, another cool thing about this carrier is this has this ingenious little clip for your diaper bag or backpack straps. Okay, one of the, one of those yeah, diaper bags over there. A diaper, diaper bag, bag really quick. Oh, or Jana's gonna get it. Oh, I'm just right here. here <laughs> Fawn design, this is popular one that a lot of people are familiar with. And um, one thing with baby wearing is that sometimes it can be kind of hard to carry your backpack or diaper bag because you already have something on your shoulders and it'll like push your bag off of your shoulders, which Or it'll just annoying. slide off because the fabric's kind of slick. Yeah, but with these little snaps, you don't have that problem at all. So I thought this was a really thoughtful and rather genius idea. So good one, happy baby. Yes, that was we like, love, we love I'm not that. gonna lie, this is like my favorite part of this character. <laughs> so now it doesn't fall, it's <laughs> wonderful. So if you're like a big city mom, not big city, but like if you do a lot of day trips yeah. and you don't like taking it, lots of people who baby wear tend to not take strollers. Yep. So if you don't have like a shoulder that you're gonna be able to place your bat, your diaper bag on or your purse, or you're going shopping and you just wanna be like minimalist, not take a lot with you, this is like such a good a good carrier for that because it's, it's not gonna fall off. So let me show it to you without the clips in it. And you can see. Yeah. So if you can see, it's like right here. So if I'm walking or moving around it's a lot, it starts it's to gonna slip, slip off. Yep. I have had that experience in my not baby fun. wearing life. It's not the most, here, most fun. Ever. Okay. So just again, um, I noticed that she was a little loose when I leaned down. So I tightened it up a little mm -hmm. bit. So again, just constantly checking while you're baby wearing for those uh, safety, not safety acronym, ticks. Yep. <laughs> um, you just make sure you're checking and adjusting, especially if you ha you're using like a stretchy, stretchy wrap. wrap or even like a ring sling, just anything. Make sure that like something hasn't loosened up because these tethers will still loosen. They're just like a tether. So they'll, as you move around and wear them for a couple hours, they will get loose. You just need to retighten. So just make sure you're checking every couple and paying attention and being alert about your baby. Yeah. So, okay. Well, are there any 
questions out there that are still burning in your minds that you need answered, we're more than happy to answer them for you yeah. guys. If we didn't address something that you wanted information about here, you can always send us an email um, at hello at babycubby.com or I believe this video is being posted to YouTube later too. Mm -hmm. So you can always comment on that video on our channel. Or on the Facebook or on one Facebook. too since it will be on there. Yes. Instagram is lame and disappears after 24 hours. So. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you can DM us on Instagram. I will be the one to answer you. <laughs> so yes, or I'll ask Jana if I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also remember that we are now doing these live videos every Friday at 9:30. Um, and if you have like a topic you want us to cover, shoot us a DM. We would love to know what you want to know about things that would be helpful. To um, for you in yeah. your parenting journey. We're actually going to be doing some polls the next couple mm -hmm. weeks on on some topics that you guys want to talk about in here. So even if it's not on product, but if it's on other stuff, we yeah. want to get your opinions so we make sure that we're covering what you guys want and exactly. need in our community. So that's yeah. what we're all about. And and like we did with our last video uh, with the postpartum depression and anxiety, like we'll bring in experts if we need to because we really want to be a resource for you and find things that are going to be helpful and make your parenting journey a little yeah. bit easier. Next week we're hoping to get a pediatrician in or a nurse to cover SIDS. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have questions about SIDS or how to prevent stuff, mm -hmm. we are working on that. So everyone cross your fingers so we can get them in, yep. but that's awesome. what we're working on. So <laughs> and join us next week for that. It'll be a good one for sure. Yeah. You know, SIDS is something that scares every parent <laughs> to some extent. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we missed with these carriers. I don't know. They're Again, just like you got, if you guys are here locally, we have everything on display. You are more than welcome to come and try them all out. If you've already had your baby, you can put your baby yep. in them and walk around the store and like we encourage wear it for a while. Hands on, yeah, product. We're all about <laughs> trying to make sure that you guys can pick the right product for you as yeah. a parent, so it'll make your life easier. Because no one's parenting is the same. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs different products to match up like what yeah. they need. So. Please, like if you are local, definitely come down here and try out these carriers. We are more than happy to help walk you through it. Every, all of our Cubby moms uh, take over 100 tests on every product, so they actually know everything there is to know. They're more than happy to show you how to use it, so you don't have to come in and feel like, oh no, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. Um, another great resource we have on our website, babycubby.com, is there is um, a baby wearing like carrier buying guide and mm -hmm. it has a lot of different information the pros and cons that we went over for each different type of carrier to kind of help you narrow down what will be best for your lifestyle so yep. check that out if you are still having trouble figuring out which carrier you want yep. it also goes in depth about like the fabric so like mm -hmm. we were talking about earlier like not using a stretchy wrap versus a woven wrap mm -hmm. it also goes over some of the other types of carriers like yeah. tan um so if you have questions about other ones great we are more than happy to cover those for yep. you Okay. okay, I think that's it. That's everything. We will see you guys all next week and have a great week. Yeah, thanks for watching.